Alright guys, so Thanksgiving is around the corner, so I'm going to be sharing some Thanksgiving recipe with you guys. So let's go ahead and first work on this bread. Now, to a bowl of warm water, you're going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of yeast, I'm um, sugar, sorry. And then we're going to add a pack of, I'm using rapid dry yeast. You can also use instant dry yeast or whatever you want to use. Just go ahead and use one pack. And practically what we're doing right now, basically what we're doing right now, we're going to go ahead and activate the yeast. So you're going to stir this up and we're going to go ahead and cover this until it blooms or proof up. And this is going to be for our bread. All right, so now that you have your garlic all peeled, what you want to go ahead and do is mince your garlic because we're going to basically steep this with some oil. So you want to make sure that your garlic is finely chopped to a very, very, very small pieces along with the parsley and the thyme. You can use fresh thyme preferably if you have it. You can also use what kind of herbs that you like. I'm using thyme and parsley because that's what I have and I'm using dried thyme, but you can use preferably thyme and um, basil or in Guyana we would call it maraman pork, so you can use that. Or you can just use the thyme and the garlic, up to you. Now you can mix it all together. I like to just take my knife and go across it like this and then come down this way here so I can get the, the consistency or all of them to be the same way. So go ahead and do that. This is my this is my parsley and the garlic. So let me add some thyme. And I'm adding this much thyme. You can add as much or as little as you want to. That's about a half a tablespoon. And then just go ahead and use your knife again and just mince everybody all the way in and just get it chopped up very nicely and very, very small. So we'll keep doing that and then we'll come back on the next step. All right guys, so what you wanna do next is go ahead and get a pot and you wanna add about a, a cup of olive oil, good quality olive oil to your pot. And you wanna make sure that you keep your fire on a low. So that's about it. Because what we're gonna do next is pretty much just infuse the olive oil with the herbs that we chopped up and the garlic. So you wanna keep your fire on a low because what you don't wanna do is burn the garlic. So you slowly wanna go ahead and add your garlic into your pan. Just make sure to add every little drop because you don't wanna waste none of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it all in to the pan. All right, scrape off your knife. Make sure everything is in. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and infuse this. And you know that it, it's ready when you start to smell your whole house smelling like garlic and herbs. So once you start to see it bubbling right there, you wanna pull it off the heat and just move it around because you don't wanna fry the garlic and you also don't want it to get burnt, um, brown or burnt. So make sure it's on a low cause it can easily get away from you. And then just keep moving it on and off and moving it around so nothing gets burnt. So you guys see how I'm doing it like this? So as a way to avoid my garlic being burnt. So I'll put it back down and then we'll move to the next step. All right guys, so you know your yeast is ready when you see this right here to the top. That's how you know it's ready. So to your mixing bowl, you wanna go ahead and add your yeast mixture. Then you wanna go ahead and add three cups of flour. So one, two, and three. And you wanna make sure you're measuring this. Now you wanna let your, then, then you wanna go ahead and add a quarter cup of your oil mixture directly into that. Then have one tablespoon of sugar and let this mix and bring it together. Okay, so once it's done mixing, it should look like this. With your clean hands, just go ahead and pull all the pieces off. And then we'll take it out and knead it a little bit. All right, so you're gonna put your dough out on a lightly floured surface and you just wanna knead your dough for a little bit just to bring it together. And at this point, guys, the dough already smells so damn good you will literally think it's ready to eat right now, but it's not. So you wanna to continue to just move your dough around and you're gonna knead it for a good 10 minutes or so. All right, so once your dough is smooth like this, you're pretty much gonna go ahead and pick it up 
and you're gonna put it in a grease bowl and cover it and put it somewhere warm. I normally put mine in the oven, allow it to double in size. All right, so after about four, it's been rising for about 40 minutes and as you can see, it's already doubled in size. So what we wanna do now from this point is get a baking tray and then you wanna add a quarter cup of the herb oil that you made earlier to the bottom. And then you wanna spread this all over your pan, probably use your hands, but this smells so good. I don't like it on my hands all day because your hands, it's going to smell like garlic, like garlic and herbs all day. Now at this point, you're not rolling this bread anymore. So you're gonna take your bread out and pretty much dump it out on your tray. And then what you wanna do is spread it out and you wanna use your finger, clean hands, and spread it all the way out whilst poking little dimples. Maybe my nails are not the best to do this, so <laughs> probably don't do this with nail guys. But anyways, spread it all the way out and make sure it goes all the way to the end as much as you can. It doesn't have to be fancy or uniformed. Just spread it all the way out and then take your fingers and poke little dimples all over your bread like just literally maybe again my nails are not the best for this so just do that now once it looks like this you know the drill you're gonna take the remainder of your garlic herbs put it at the top and then lightly spread it around so every part gets some herbs and some garlic lightly and then you want to drizzle at the top here with just a pinch of salt, not too much, less than a half a teaspoon of salt. And now we're going to pop this back in a warm place for it to rise again for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, so I popped it back in the, well, a warm place. I typically let mine rise in my oven because, you know, you're always using the oven. So it's all the stove top. So the oven is going to remain warm. Anyways, I popped it in the oven, let it rise again for about 20 minutes. So this is where it's at right now. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a preheated 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, so straight out of the oven, this is what our bread looks like. Don't be alarmed by the top. My kids already started to pick at it. So I apologize, but you get the drift. It's gonna be crunchy but yet still pillowy soft as you can hear them playing in the background they're enjoying the bread already when you cut into it guys it's gonna have a nice crust it should get nicely golden dark so that's what it should look like and then if you listen to this listen to this crunchy and nice so this is my focaccia hope you guys like it all right, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And leading up to Thanksgiving, I'm going to be posting a Thanksgiving-inspired recipe each day or what I make for my Thanksgiving menu, one recipe each day up until then. So once again, thank you so very much. Have yourself an amazing day.